It's a little town at the end of the road. Little tiny town, it was a gold rush town. One of the first discoveries in the state, just an end of the road town. People kind of like it here. It's an easy way of life. It's all about chores, man. I grew up here. This is home base. My parents still live here. Oh, why do I like it? There's not a lot of distractions. I'm kind of project oriented, so is Rick. I don't really want to work for a living if I don't have to. <laughs> We play music almost every night. Looking up some bands or just some song you heard, it's like, let's check this one out. Old country, bluegrass. Progressive bluegrass sometimes. I grew up playing music. Always been into music. A lot of it had to do with my parents. She'd always ask me chords. Like, I don't really play music, but I could help her figure out the chord progression. Chords and little scales. My dad played and his friends played music. Myself and my buddies would just sit around picking and she just liked it. So I remember just sitting on the floor in the living room or sitting under the table in the dining room and listening to him. They would just slowly pick up the instruments. They actually encouraged my sister and I to start playing. I came here late 70s and met the woman and her husband who ran the Seaview at the time. My buddy and I would go down there and play instruments just for beer and food. You know, we never even thought about putting a tip jar out. And we were no good, we were just starting to play and that was a fun time. It's actually the first place that I ever played music on stage in front of people. And I was probably 11. Her and her sister would go down there and they'd play songs. And I think it helped her get a stage presence. I was very shy, and I sang very quietly. She grew up with a lot of the people that were down there, and she just got comfortable playing around them. It's just really cool. That's where I started. And now we're back, weekend party at the CVO. More and more so these days, Hope's kind of a hot spot. Lots of folks come down from Anchorage. It's hard to get a place downtown on a weekend. I mean, you can't blame people. It's a nice place to vacation, hike. My mom was always like, as soon as you leave, you're gonna miss it and you're gonna wanna come back. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. She went away for college. I essentially minored in banjo. She started missing home or realizing that there, there was something special about where she came from. And now I live in Anchorage and I wanna come down to Hope every weekend and don't take it for granted anymore. did the solo thing for a little while and ran into Silas, who plays bass with me. Collected folks along the way. And I love playing music with the guys that are in my band. Every single one of them brings something different, things I would never think of. You know, it takes the whole band, and she's got some really good musicians playing with her. They like what she writes, and they help her make it sound even better. Well, it's very heavily influenced by the music I grew up with. Seaview is a very kid-friendly bar. It would get the community out, you know, to go hear music. So my sister and I have been going to the bar since we were like 10. Our kids were always in there. We'd take them down to see if there's any new talent coming up. Listening to music and dancing with the parents. Sometimes you'd run into some good music down there. It's really cool to grown up there, and now people are coming down to see me play music there. It's pretty special. All the things that they were talking about in the bluegrass music, everybody talking about their mountain homes, she realized that she had that. It's home. It's where my heart is. <laughs> <laughs>